hope you enjoyed watching Father Abraham and the music and dance moves. Now, if you've never been to Sunday school or have read the Bible, you might be wondering, who is Father Abraham? Why did he have so many sons? And if I'm a girl, does that make him my father too? All good questions, which is why we're gonna look in the Bible and read about Father Abraham and his family and how it can apply to us today. And to help me out, CJ and his friends are gonna play the roles so that we can better understand it. So let's begin. Abraham was a shepherd who lived in the land of Haran with his wife, Sarah. They lived a comfortable life together, but God told Abraham to move from Haran and go to another land called Canaan. They trusted God and did it. God then told Abraham, I'm going to make your family into a great nation with as many people as the stars. Now, when Abraham and Sarah heard this, it was hard to believe and they even laughed because Sarah was almost a hundred years old and never had a child. But although it seemed impossible, Abraham continued to trust God. God showed his promise to be true when Abraham and his wife had their first son, Isaac. They were so happy. Years later, Isaac had a son named Jacob, Jacob had Joseph, and from there many more sons and daughters came from Abraham's family line. And after many generations came the birth of Jesus. Jesus is God's perfect son sent on earth to save us from all the bad things. And because of this, we have eternal life with God. You and I are also considered Abraham's children when we believe in Jesus. And it doesn't matter whether you're a boy, a girl, if you have different color skin or hair, we're all part of God's great big family because of our faith in Jesus. And so God loves us so much that he wants us to share this amazing love with those around us. I hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you next time. Father Abraham.